Hey guys, today I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak the Apple TV 2 right here. My Apple TV 2, second generation. Okay, first what you need is to get micro USB cable, like this. Micro USB cable, so you can jailbreak it. So, you put the micro, micro USB cable in there. Okay. Then you connect to your computer. Okay. But in this case, I'm gonna connect it to this um the USB hub. Okay. Since my computer has all USB taken up. Okay, you connect it, then you're gonna connect this to your Apple TV. Like so. You're gonna connect it to your Apple TV like this. See? right there okay now let's go see you now we're gonna use the computer to jailbreak this what you're gonna do now is you're gonna download season pass to jailbreak um, your Apple TV my Apple TV has has firmware version 4.4.4 .4 and this is gonna be an untethered jailbreak okay what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on create IPSW Okay, now it's gonna do all these steps and it's gonna take a while. So let's wait till this finishes. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to click these two buttons, the menu and the play and pause at the same time, um, and point it at your, at your Apple TV. So it'll continue with the steps. Okay, the Apple TV now is restored to the factory settings. Now, what we're going to do is connect it to our TV. Now that we have it jailbroken, we're going to have to enter our data again, like the Wi-Fi network, and all our information, because when we jailbroke our Apple TV 2, everything got reset to the original factory settings. So let's enter it now. Now that we entered all our information into our Apple TV 2, we're going to go to our computer and do the rest from there. So we can install some stuff onto our Apple TV too now that it's still broken. Okay, so let's go to the computer. Okay, what you're going to do now is you're going to SSH to your Apple TV. So what you got to do is get the IP, the local IP address for your Apple TV, which is under settings network on your Apple TV. Then what you're going to do is you're going to SSH to it, so you're going to type this into terminal on your Mac, which I'm using a Mac. So you type this in, SSH root 192, whatever your IP address is, that's what you're going to type in right here. So SSH 
root, then you're gonna do you're gonna do SSH root add 192.168.1.30, which is my um, Apple TV um, IP address locally. Okay, so you, I click enter. You gotta wait to SSH into onto the Apple TV. It's Okay, now what you're gonna do here, you're gonna press Y, yes, I mean, you're gonna type in yes. Then the password is gonna be the default password A L P I N E, Alpine, okay? Then what you're gonna do next is you're gonna type this in. Okay, first you're gonna type in this right here. So you're gonna copy and you're gonna paste it. Okay. Okay, then you're gonna copy and paste the next one, which is this right here. Copy and then paste it onto here. Okay, okay, there it is. Then you're gonna do each and every one of these. I'll leave the link to this website in the description box here on YouTube. What you can do is you're gonna click copy this and you're gonna paste it onto here you're gonna paste it also okay you can and then this one and do each and every one of them to install XMBC onto your Apple TV okay Okay, now we're gonna do this one down here. Then you you put, click Y, yes, Y. We're gonna wait till this is finished. Just don't touch anything else. Wait till it's finished. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna reboot the Apple TV 2, which is in the living room. So what you do is you type reboot. Here we go, then enter. Then it should be rebooting the Apple TV 2 in the living room. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to the living room to where the Apple TV 2 is at. Now we have it jailbroken with the XMB MC. You can see right here we have XM XB MC. It's now jailbroken. And there we go. Systems. See, we have jailbroken. Our Apple TV now is jailbroken. Now, if you're having these this problem right here with the edges, what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna go to settings. You're gonna go to video. Oh no, not video. Go to settings. You're gonna go to system down there then you're gonna to go to video output okay then you're gonna go video calibration now what you're gonna to have to do is this right here to move to calibrate this oh no see down there ok 
Okay. Yeah. You're just going to calibrate it to your TV. Okay. Since I'm going to move this Apple TV, I'm probably going to have to calibrate it over there. So we'll just stop this. And that's it. That's how you do it. You could also you could add extra stuff like plugins. Oh, here we go. Where weather, yeah. video, add-ons. Okay, you could get extra add-ons. There's a YouTube add-on. Get more. There's a bunch of add-ons right here. You could add more sources to your Apple TV. You could add more sources for you could get more different plugins. So if you want to get Hulu on here, if you want to get Hulu, what you're going to have to do is this. Let's go back to our computer and I'm going to add Hulu onto my Apple TV. Um, to install Hulu onto our Apple TV, into our Apple TV 2, we're going to need to SFTP onto our Apple TV. So what you're going to do is you're going to have to download a program. Um, I'm using CyberDuck for the Mac, which is freeware. Okay, so you're going to open a new connection. You're going to click on here, and you're going to select SFTP, okay? Then we're going to enter the IP address for our Apple TV that's on the network. So it's 192.168.1.30, which is here locally, the IP address that you have locally on your for your Apple TV. Then your username and the password are going to be the default username and password. So the username is going to be root, password is A-L-P-I-N-E. Then you connect. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go right here, select private, slash var. Then you're going to go to mobile, mobile. Then you're going to go to media. Then what you're going to do is you're going to get this zip file. I'm going to leave the link in the description bar where you can download this um, zip file. Then you're going to transfer it over here to your Apple TV too. Okay, now that that is finished, we're going to go where to our Apple TV, which is in the living room, and we're going to install this. So let's go to the living room right now. Okay, now that we're in the living room, we're going to install the zip file that we just added. So we're going to go to settings, right there. Okay, settings. Then we're going to go to add-ons. Okay, so you click add-ons. Then we're going to go to install from zip file. So we're going to go install from zip file. Okay, then we're going to go to home folder, media. There it is. There's our file that we're going to install. So we're going to click. Okay, now that's installed. So what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to go back. Okay, click on menu. Okay. Then we're going to go to video add ons. Then we can get more, get more. We're going to look. There's Hulu. Where's Hulu? Okay. And we're going to install it. Okay. It should be installed. No, not yet. On. It's downloading. Once it downloads, 
should install and you'll be able to watch Hulu on your Apple TV. So let's wait till it finishes installing. Okay, it finished installing. It says enabled. Hulu is enabled. So we're going to go to the menu. Then there it is Hulu. We're going to click that. Okay, it's retrieving. Now, go to, you watch anything on here. See, loading. Full episodes. Okay. There it is. Let's just do 2020. And we're going to do episodes. And just click that one. And here. Clicked it twice. There it is. The there it is. is brought to you with limited commercial interruption by Hulu Plus. More That's it. On more devices. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. And see you guys later. Bye. My electric bill was breaking the bank. So to save some money... I train this team of guinea pigs to row this time.